keep on twisting down. From you wake up every morning, you's a winner, yeah. What's going on guys, it's your girl Reza in the brrrr, the, the ding and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm feeling good because my friend is getting married. So congratulations again to her and I am a bridesmaid in her wedding. This is the first time I'll be a bridesmaid. I'm excited for that. I'm going to do my own hair for the wedding and she sent us some pictures of, of the direction of how she wants our hair to look. And luckily, thankfully, I can use my own hair to do this hairstyle and I don't have to go anywhere to get it done. So I can do this hairstyle on my own. So I wanted to show you guys how I do this hairstyle just in case you guys want to try it as well you guys see the elephant in the room i got my nails done <laughs> i haven't done that in so long we're gonna prep my hair first because i want to do this hairstyle on stretched hair it's gonna be a lot easier to deal with my hair has been washed let's go with that Woo! i used a lotion in my hair after the whole washing process the peppermint in that lotion is strong hella strong that's clearing up my nose because i'm kind of snuffy right now so if you guys are wondering what i used i used the lustrous pink lotion in one of their new lotions it's a growth and scalp relief natural oil moisturizing lotion with castor oil peppermint oil aloe vera and vitamin e luster pink lustrous pink the peppermint is really strong in this like too strong but anyway let's continue because i already started using it i'm just gonna section off my hair detangle apply some more of the lotion seal with my grease i'm not gonna lie y'all it feels so weird doing my hair with nails on kind of scared to finger detangle i don't know how you guys do it i guess you get used to it so that product claims to be moisturizing but i'm not getting that but let me apply some more i'm really not getting the moisture they claim to provide let's continue so i'm just gonna detangle i don't want my hair to be soaking wet i just want it to be damp because my hair needs to dry yeah i'm probably gonna style my hair tomorrow would i be able to style it tomorrow hopefully hopefully yeah but anyway i'm gonna use the blue magic indian hemp you know the vibes you know this was coming did you i'm not gonna use much i just want my hair to be moisturized while in this style you know what let me braid the roots first and then twist i was gonna just twist only but i want my roots to be stretched i'm gonna braid the roots and just twist number one this is gonna dry a lot faster number two it's not gonna be as stretched it's gonna be stretched but not too stretched i'll still have some texture then I'll apply some more grease on my ends so this is how i'm going to prep my hair for the style Ooh, but for you guys the peppermint is strong in this we applied some more of the product we're gonna spritz a little bit of water just because my hair has been sitting out for a while and i already had some of the lotion in it prior but i didn't thoroughly apply it so that's why i applied some more you guys saw me spritz some water prior now i'm going to detangle with my favorite detangling brush this is the tangle teaser but the larger one so i have the baby one and I have the big dog i don't know if they come bigger than this but i've been liking the bigger one but i like both but this one is really good for like bigger sections and for longer hair so i'm just detangling taking out all my knots and tangles now i'm going to apply some of the green not much detangle some more braid my roots about a half an inch down I'm still twisting tightly detangle if needed be and just twist 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 just twist we be twisting we be twisting forever you see this length of my hair we gonna have to twist i keep on twisting down down the strands with some grease and some lotion <laughs> when i get closer to the ends we gonna apply some more grease keep those ends protected and sealed still twisting twirl the ends and that's it boom okay so that's all we're gonna do and i'll probably see you guys in the morning stay tuned for when it's time to actually style i don't know how this is gonna turn out but i'm taking you guys with me it must 
turn out good. It has to be almost two weeks later and we're here <laughs> to finish this video. Let's go. What had happened was this was my first wedding that I attended. I didn't understand how much would have gone into preparing to film the style on the actual day for you guys. I was having a hard time. I had to catch a boat. I ran into some problems with doing my hair and I just had to go. You guys remember how I prepped my hair? It's the same preparation but I used different products. I actually used a leave-in conditioner this time around by the brand Mish. It's their lavish leave-in conditioner and I then went in with my blue magic grease the Indian hemp one you know but my hair is still a little damp oh yes I did it the day before so I twisted my hair with the leave-in conditioner first and then the next day which was yesterday I then twisted my hair with the grease so now we're going to unravel and when I did the style for the actual wedding my hair was still wet so it was giving me a hard time to style because of that but my hair is still kind of damp so I don't know and all the ladies look so cute with their hairstyle. Some use their natural hair, some use extensions. All done unraveling the twist. I'm just gonna separate it a little bit more with my fingers. Tease my hair a little bit before I brush it into the direction that I want it to go in. For the wedding, I had it a little lower, but I wanted to do it a little higher. And my friend had some curls left out, and I really love that look, so I'm gonna do that too. Switch some water. Mostly around the perimeter of my hair. And sometimes, well for me, sometimes I don't even need to go in and fully detangle all of my hair. Because my hair has been detangled already before I put it into the twist. But, I mean, you gotta figure out how to deal with your hair, especially when styling. Your hair doesn't have to be fully brushed out or detangled to do certain styles so just having a water in my hair just brushing it into the direction before i apply my gel i do wish i have a stronger holding gel but i've been running out of gels no more gel in this wetline extreme do i have any more gels I don't have a little bit of gel in here. I have to go look for some gel. So I found some gels. This is a Lustos Pink Curl Popping Defining Gel with shea butter and coconut oil. I have never used this before. I did do a little sample before I came on here, but it seems to be working pretty well. I'm just gonna put that all around the perimeter of my hair. Hi. <laughs> That's Kayla. And this is my crazy auntie. So you can't let me crazy on camera. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. See, I'm putting some at the back as well. You guys see no way doing this on the day of would have taken me a little bit of time. And then I had to pick my friend up as well. So that took a lot of my time as well. Just gonna brush my hair up. For the wedding, I had it more in the middle. But, whoo, y'all, this is a whole workout. Ugh. When people ask me why I don't style my hair often, <laughs> you see. So I wanted a little higher. So I'm just gathering my hair at the top. I'm gonna wrap it around twice Whew. I'm gonna brush again the gel isn't too bad actually put a rubber band around the ends just to get it out of the way for the next step I really wish I had a bigger one of these my friend was in Tartola and she got it for me they didn't have the bigger ones at first I just used this and I don't know who I was trying to fool it didn't come out how I expected it to so I'm gonna use this and you're gonna see what I'm gonna use next but I'm gonna put this over my hair then I have some Marley hair. So I cut this in half and I'm gonna wrap this around the donut. Yes, the donut holder. I don't know what you call it, but yeah. Wait, let me twist it a little bit first. But it doesn't matter if this is seen under because that's why I wanted to get the texture in my hair. If you're privileged to have some hairpins, you can use those. <laughs> I don't have much, but we're gonna still make this shake. <laughs> I just have bobby pins. I didn't use much pins on the day and my hair is held up for the whole day and a couple days after. So that's fine, but this will go a lot better if you have some hair pins. So I'm just gonna pin that on my hair. But once I start covering it with the hair at the top, I mean, it doesn't really matter how well it's covered or not. Just don't want it sticking out. Oh, don't play me like that. You stay where you're supposed to stay, what wrong with you? She gonna need some more pins. No problem, girl. I don't got you, but we gonna, we gonna figure it out. Okay, so this keeps coming out. So now, I'm gonna take my hair piece by piece. 
to put it away putting away your hair as well makes it a lot easier to style I'm gonna slightly twist the issue I was having with this is the twist not showing at the top so I'm gonna put more emphasis in twisting the top a little bit more you can go a little looser on the end so you see the actual twist now yes and tuck that under and I can also pin okay now I'm gonna grab another piece and I'm just gonna keep doing that till I get all around the Mali hair but I'm going to brush out my hair first finger detangle so I can get more volume Ooh. Some of these ends are not cute. Got some knots. We don't have to cut this out. So again, twist and tuck under. Twist and tuck under. So that's all we're basically going to do. And I'll just make sure that they're lined up to go all around. So I'll just continue doing this and come back when it's all done. basically done this is a part of the hair styling process where you really have to like shift the twist to make sure all the hair is covered and to be honest if the hair matches your hair even if most of it is not covered it wouldn't look that bad but just make sure most of it is covered why y'all didn't remind me to take out the hair on the sides I'm thinking to spice it up a little bit more I have the remainder of the Mali twist that I cut so I'm thinking to twist it and wrap it around how would that look let's see so let me twist this so it's gonna be a big chunky twist just gonna have to knot this <laughs> loosely twisting let me see how it's gonna look first mm. okay the vision is coming through but anyway i'm still twisting wrap that around i actually tied it together and tucked it under and wherever i tuck that's where it would make sense for me to put the hairpins before the final touches i'm going to put a scarf around my edges just so it can lay flat a little bit put on some makeup and add the final accessory and then basically and we yeah. are done we are done do you guys like it do you like it do you love it how you feeling this isn't exactly how i did it on the day this is another version because all the ladies had a different version as well so this is just a different version i'm not gonna show you all the back because <laughs> the back didn't come out the best if i was really going somewhere i would have really done it to the best of my ability but i just wanted to show you guys how i did it right but i'm not going anywhere today we're gonna do it for the video i was supposed to add this though on the wedding day this accessory that i got from i think it was marshall's or ross a couple years ago it really just made the style pop if i had the curls on the side as well it would have made it pop even more but i forgot but anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys try this out let me know you know i like it i like it i like it what do you guys think let me know down below these are the exact earrings that i wore on the day and this is the robe that i wore as well congrats to my girl again thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the video see you in the next one bye, bye.